Come on, Percy, you can do it, said the other international engines. It's time for the shunting challenge. Hello, Percy. What's up? Uh, uh Thomas? Uh, actually, the, after seeing what happened to the, uh, to Gordon, uh, actually I'm too scared to enter the competition. I want you to compete in my place. Okay, Percy, don't worry. I'll win this challenge for Sodor. The other small engines were lined up ready to start. Thomas joined them. Well, Thomas, looks like you're taking part in the shunting challenge after all, says Shima. Yes, I'm ready. Good luck. You too. Okay, are your marks? Get set. Go! And all the engines raced off. They biffed and bashed trucks and crisscrossed tracks until they marshaled them into line. Sometimes they switch tracks to collect other trucks before the other engine gets it. Thomas found it very hard. I might lose, he said to himself, but he didn't lose. He chuffed through round after round, pushing trucks, tankers and flatbeds into line. He beats engines from Russia, Italy and Brazil. It was the final round and there were only two engines left, Thomas and Ashiba. Now they have only left a brake fan to complete the challenge. But then there was trouble. One of the trucks had overturned and landed onto another track, which unfortunately was Ashima's track. As they raced towards the finish, Thomas noticed it and sped along and pushed it out of the way and switched tracks which led to a Shima race to victory. Thomas, you let me win, Ashima peed. I know, Thomas replied, but it wouldn't have been fair. Your track was blocked. Soon after, everyone gathered for the award ceremony. The winner of the strongest engine competition, it goes to the Canadian engine, and the fastest engine is the French electrical engine. And then for the shunting challenge, the announcer had declared something that shocked everyone. We would like to declare there are two winners in the shunting challenge, announced the judge. Rashima had won for the fastest time, and Thomas had also won for helping his competitor and showing good sportsmanship. Thomas couldn't believe it. All the engines whistled and cheered. Even Gordon's brother, the Flying Scotsman, admitted that he was impressed with the engines from Sodor. The fat controller was proud of Thomas for being really useful and very thoughtful too. He was just being himself, sir, Pete Percy. Well, you can only be you, Thomas Puff. He winked at Ashima. There's nothing else you can possibly do. It was time for all the engines to leave and, including Thomas and all his friends, to head back to Sodor. Well, it's goodbye, Ashima. Well, it's not really a goodbye yet. I'm gonna miss you. I enjoyed my time with you and your friends. Hold on, Ashima. Maybe we don't say goodbye right now. You can come to us to Sodor and catch a rail ferry from there. It stops at Brendan Docks, you know. Good idea, Thomas. You are clever. Sometimes. Goodbye, everyone. I'll see you next time, maybe at the next Great Railway Show, said Flying Scotsman, as Gordon, Henry, Percy, Emily, James, Thomas and Ashima headed off to Sodor.